Give me your give me your Mount Rushmore of comedians. Ooh, man. And you know there's only four uh, Mount, Mount, Mount Rushmore. So we can't four, do no ad, we can't do no ties. We only got four uh, move. We only got four uh, slots. Uh, now are you basing it on here's why here's why I ask you. Are you basing it on impact in my life? Or are you basing it on, you know how even in top five, everybody had their different opinion. Right. Who the best rappers were, the best, right. the best, who the best hip hop could, right. could do it. Everybody right. had an opinion because right. you got to go by what touches you. And if I base, if I base it on, see, I'm inspired by so many different things. You base I, I get, it on whatever you want your criteria ooh. to be. I want to know what smooth top. I want to know smooth Mount Rushmore comedian. So you base it however you want. Impact. Who have me laughing? Whatever the case may be. Uh, see, I'm like my, I'm like Mike Tyson. See, here's here's, here's why I say. <sighs> Styles make fights for me. Right. You ask Mike Tyson about boxing, he gonna break down why, and he gonna give you all the little nuances of what the sweet science is all about. Right. Right. You know, there's guys who lost fights to me, who are still considered the greatest. Right. Some of the greatest boxers to me. Right. You know, even, though they, even though they lost, they ain't undefeated. But they lost, but they right. still get classified as the greatest. So here's what I would say. <laughs> Damn, this, this is hard. I'm, hey, I'm, I know I'm, it's hard. I'm a fight fan. See, I'm a fight fan. I'm okay. a fight fan. You know what I mean? I can only go by what inspired me in my movement. You know okay. what I mean? And, and you, this comes from a guy who was inspired by music, who was inspired by comedy, who was inspired by anything and everything. Birds. I'm inspired by everything you could think of. Okay. Outdoors. I'm inspired by personalities, by people. So, uh, science, the stars, astrology. Oh, so I say this. Prior. Okay. He would be on mine. He'll be on mine. Prior. Oh, man. See, in my in my book, four is hard. Damn it, man. Prior, Murphy. I gotta go, you, Murphy. You be mine. Now this this is a hard one. People gotta understand this one. I I I, I was inspired by Bill Cosby. Okay. But here's why here's why here's why I tell people as a as a asterisk on it. You cannot. If everybody had to give back the inspiration they got from somebody because that person didn't live up to it or something happened was where flawed. they got heavily was, flawed. Flawed, right? If that person was flawed. Now, think about this. If you had to give all that back, you know what it does to you? It drops you down. Right. Because something about them inspired you in that moment. Right. In your upbringing, in your okay. career that helped you propel you to grab that microphone and start opening your mouth. And, and they say 50% of the job is grabbing the microphone. Right. Just like you guys, you, you put a uniform on, you gotta have the guts to put that uniform on and walk right. on that field. Yes. Before that before that kickoff, you got you already halfway there, you already here, you showed right. up. Now you got another 50% to do to win this damn game and put somebody on the ass or whatever. Right. So I say, those three, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Now, this is a hard one because I love me some Fox. I love me some Red Fox, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Red Fox is to me, woo, that, that particular style, right? Is hilarious. He had the party albums, all of this stuff. Right. I'm gonna tell you another guy, but it's hard because he's too close to my age. Right. Chris Rock, his, he had a run of four specials. And I, I dare you to put them in order to the best of each one. Those specials that Chris Rock did, mm -hmm. he, that rapid fire, Chris Rock, when he right. on a roll and he's banging that microphone and walking back and forth across that stage. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Ain't nobody gonna match that. Ain't nobody gonna boom, 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 boom. Walking to you, know what I'm saying? 
and Chris walking back and forth, hitting you with the four toss salad and all them jokes. Come on, yeah. man. Shannon, you cannot beat that pace. You can't even keep up. You can't keep up with it because you're like, God damn, this dude's shooting the shit out of me. He's shooting this, he's shooting me with these jokes. Right. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't, I can't even keep my balance, man. But he's too close in age to me. He's reachable. He he I can grab him right now. He's a friend of mine. Right. I love him. I love him. I would love him to be up there, but I gotta go. See, Chris wasn't around. I didn't know Chris when I first had in my mind I wanted to do this. You know what I mean? I had never stepped on, on stage before. But this one guy, I feel like he was a big, all these guys were a big part of my trend. And I needed these styles. And I said, styles make fights. Right. I needed a balance of all four of these guys in order for me to get the courage to walk on stage and grab that microphone. Right. So I, 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 I feel like as far as stand up, I got to add my man, George Carlin, because all I can think about in this moment is George Carlin was so, all these comedians are very outspoken in their way, every mm -hmm. last one of them. Different eras, but very, 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 very outspoken. Now, I can only imagine what George Carlin would do with this shit show we got going on in the world today. I mean, he would have a fucking field day, Shannon. You hear me? He would <laughs> have a... No, he would take this stuff and he would mangle it. He will mangle what's going on in the world today. That was his style. That was his thing. Right. You know, outspoken, uh, uh, poignant, all the things you could think of. This dude, he, he could find a way to make you look so stupid in your thinking, in the things you are making important in your life, the things that the government is doing. He would take every... Half the stuff he said in his last special happened. Right. And the man is dead. The man been gone. Sam. Right. Half the stuff he said and half the stuff he been saying in all his specials is happening. That's, that's the crazy part. You look at it like, damn. He knew he knew stuff about human nature that you can that only certain kind of certain comedians can take it. Take right. human nature. Some some are very storytellers. Was a prior, you know, storytellers. Eddie Murphy was very. Uh, 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 I say he he's uh, uh, he can he can talk about almost anything. But when he starts talking about his family and different things like that, oh oh, Eddie will kill you. Yeah, he had you dying. You know, Aunt Bunny. You know, he has some he has yeah. some stuff. Relationship stuff to kill you. To kill you. You know what I mean? Um, these are and Cosby. He's sitting there. He's sit. He's sitting down. He sat down on a chair. He and, and paint the he would paint pictures and tell you stories and paint pictures, man. How can you not? He sit there like these damn styles, all these styles. How you know? And you sit and not, not one of them is alike. Each and one of these guys is completely different. You couldn't even put them in a ring together because you couldn't tell who win. You when I look at. And I think you left Chappelle off because Chappelle is your age. He's a peer of yours. I can't, I can't. I knew Dave when he was 15. When he <laughs> walked on stage, I'm 20 something. He was 15, waiting to go, waiting to go on stage in the same club. Right. I you know, don't get me wrong. Chappelle is my man. Right now, if they was to right now, he is definitely so He's the king right now. Who, he is the king right now. There is no king right now other than Dave Chappelle. He's a king right now. But I got to go by what inspired me. That little 15-year-old boy who was waiting to go on stage in the comedy club, he didn't inspire me in my, in my upcoming. Right, right. He was just a, he was another, another kid, another right. kid starting out who, who watching us and, 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 you know, who was amazing in his right. young age. But he, he, I was already on my, you oh, on your sin, right? Off. Right. That's sin. Yeah, exactly. I can't say, you know, had I started today, I would say, shit, I gotta throw, I gotta throw Chappelle up in there because I'll be starting today. So let, let me ask you a question. Robin Harris was, I think he was on the ascend Woo! before he he lost, uh, he died. Bernie Mac is still one of my favorites. Uh, you know yes. what? After I've listened to him a couple of times, you know who I like? 
Seinfeld. And I didn't, I didn't watch his show, and I wasn't a big Seinfeld watcher, but I've listened to some of his things. I can get yes. down with Seinfeld. See, I, I think for me, when I hear Pryor and I hear Red Fox and I hear some of these other guys, mm. that's relatable to me because that's how we talk in our yeah. community. I can relate yeah. to that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it's like a, a, di a food dish. <laughs> you talk about oxtails, you talk about neck bones, you talk about pig and sandwiches, that's things yeah. I can relate to. So when someone talks yeah. about cooking that, okay, I get that. <laughs> I don't always relate to some of the other comedians that are outside of my demographic. And, and exactly. I'm, but yeah. you know, you know what I'm talking about, Smooth. I know that. See, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing that that's going to put that in a nutshell. Back when Blockbuster was open, right? Right. I was I was walking around Blockbuster, right, and I realized something. I said, I think I told my wife this. I said, "Baby, do you realize?" that we can walk in Blockbuster and we can rent anything in here, could we get it? We can rent anything in this damn Blockbuster, take it home, put it in, and get it because we have to understand everybody. We right. have to. It's just the nature of what it is right. as a black person. We gotta understand all, we gotta understand all this. Right. But why people can't walk in Blockbuster and just grab Friday? Right, right. They, they, they ain't gonna get it. No, they can't car grab wash, wash. Who they can grab it. Yeah, they can't grab that. baby they can't boy. That up. Oh hell no! They ain't gonna get it. They ain't right. gonna laugh at the right, the right stuff. They're gonna be afraid to laugh. Right. At, the, at stuff because they ain't gonna know what 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 this shit right. laugh at. Right. They, they ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna understand it. I House said, party. It. House party. <laughs> you know, Shannon, come on, man. You can't give that. You can't give that as a gift to somebody. Right. You know, your white friends. Your ego. You're right. This, this Smooth, is let me ask you this. House party. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.